So let's talk about Tesla ludicrous mode. So the Tesla Model S and Model X performance both have a mode called ludicrous. And what a lot of people don't know is that ludicrous now actually has three different levels. So let's take a look and I'll show you what the three different levels are of ludicrous. Okay, so let's look at the acceleration settings. Here we are now in ludicrous. This is base level ludicrous. Then there's ludicrous plus. Ludicrous plus does two things. One, it enables max battery power, which heats up the battery for maximum performance and it activates launch control. So launch control gives you the ability to both put down the brake and the accelerator at the same time. And then when you release the brake, it will launch the car with instant maximum power. One of the things with Ludacris Plus is it will take time before it gets to maximum temperature. If you've already been doing a lot of driving, you turn on Ludacris Plus, it may only take five minutes. If it's first thing in the morning, you live in an area that's cold, it could take an hour. But the thing to keep in mind is, even if the battery has not reached max maximum temperature, you can still use launch control. You just won't get quite as much performance as, it, as you will when the battery's warm. Okay, so we've got about 35 minutes before Ludacris Plus is done heating. I'll come back then and then show you what we gain of extra performance when we activate the warp mode Easter egg. Okay, I'm back in my car now and let's take a look. Ludacris Plus is fully heated and ready. This is what the display console looks like when the car is in Ludacris Plus mode. See, Ludacris Plus, ready to go. Now check out what happens when I put it into warp screen. Ludacris Speed! Go! Are you sure you want to push the limits? This will cause accelerator wear in the motor and gearbox. No, I want my mommy. Yes, bring it on. Okay. Now we've just opened up a new view on the heads-up display. So see that pink meter there? See we got this line here? That's how hot the car will get in Ludacris Plus. But in warp mode, the battery will actually go up to here. Also check out the heating. Now there's an estimated 10 minutes more to go in battery heating before it gets to maximum temperature. So what this means is Ludacris Plus and Ludacris Plus with warp mode actually does have a difference in impacts on performance in the car. Ludacris Plus will only heat the battery to a certain temperature. Ludacris Plus with warp mode actually heats the battery another five degrees further, which guys, I gotta tell you, that definitely gives you an increase in top end zero to 60 performance and in maximum acceleration and quarter mile times. I know this because as you guys know, I like to tow my car to the drag strip and I've done a number of tests and I've actually found that at 100% battery, if I don't do Ludacris Plus with warp mode, I'm running about low 10.6. At 98% battery or even 96% battery, I can hit 10.5s so long as I have warp mode still turned on. So it does make a substantial difference, about a 10th second on the quarter mile, and it even affects a zero to 60. So Ludacris Plus with the warp mode Easter egg is definitely the maximum performance on the car. And there's a difference in performance between Ludacris Plus and the warp mode. Check it out. And this is what the screen looks like now that we're fully heated in Ludacris Plus with warp mode. We now get a new display, shows us the battery readouts per motor. And look at this, I left the warp mode on even a little bit longer and the battery is even hotter than when it was, even when it said ready. So why does this exist? Why are there three different levels of Ludacris? Well, I think it exists so that you have standard Ludacris, which allows you to have very great acceleration while still get some reliability and performance for longer, harder drives. There's Ludacris Plus, so you can optimize the battery for very fast, short burst of maximum acceleration and also doing great times on things like the quarter mile. But the trade-off is on very long, hard drives, you're gonna have your battery overheat a bit faster. Then finally, Ludacris Plus with the warp mode. This is just the ultimate, Tesla is allowing you to push the car to the very limits of what it's capable and just get true maximum acceleration. And it comes with a trade-off of doing a little bit extra wear and tear to your car, but now with Ludacris Plus versus Ludacris Plus and warp mode, you don't have to quite push the vehicle to its full limits to still get a great and even better improved zero to 60 and quarter mile time. I think this feature also makes a lot of sense for Tesla because before 
if you want to activate launch control, the only way to do it was warp mode. So if you activated warp mode, it came with that warning about the added wear and tear to the car. Now with Ludacris Plus, you have the ability to activate launch control, to activate some battery heating, but not quite push it to the extreme limit where you're doing added and unnecessary wear and tear to the vehicle. I think that's gonna be great for owners long-term who maybe don't wanna wear on their car as hard and also great for Tesla that they'll result in replacing less drive trains and less drive units than they would in the previous system. So guys, if you're, if you're watching, please tell me what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear your experiences and if any other owners have done tests in Ludacris Plus versus Ludacris Plus with warp mode, please share your experiences. We'd love to hear them. Hope you guys enjoyed watching and please subscribe.